Oh, and welcome to my channel um, on many things in steam heating. And today we're going to be discussing uh, sort of my go-to um, adjustable uh, radiator vent. And this particular example is the vent right number one. And what you get is a fairly high quality um, adjustable vent which operates by adjusting this uh, plastic wheel. This is threaded on the radiator. If, this, if my fingers are the uh, threads of uh, the, uh, the hole on the radiator, this threads in like so. Uh, you want to pay attention to this uh, tongue here. You want to make sure it doesn't get bent or out of alignment. The purpose of the tongue is to allow the steam to enter here and the water to exit underneath and drip off, uh, reducing the likelihood of spitting. And this is the index mark here. Yeah, there we go. And this is in the shut position. And you turn it uh, this way, increasing the numbers, which increase the venting up into about eight, you go a little bit beyond. Uh, so you basically get more or less one complete turn, which uh, one is almost closed. If not closed, uh, you can verify that by blowing into here and turning this wheel. And this should shut it. Sometimes it doesn't, depending on um, manufacturing tolerances. Um, the ones that shut, you want to save uh, for radiators that you want to have the ability to shut off. It's much easier and better to shut off a radiator by shutting off the vent. You really don't want to touch the valve. Valves, it can't be said often enough, uh, should be left completely open and you uh, are better off controlling the steam by controlling the amount of venting. And so the good thing about this is that if you say have a setting of five and it's still not warm enough, uh, the radiator isn't heating enough, you can try six and uh, seven, move it up in increments. And if you are opening this up all the way and the radiator still isn't heating, well enough, then the problem is probably not the vent. If you vent a radiator and it doesn't heat, then the problem generally is not the venting, or at least the vent itself. Uh, it could be a number of causes which are more, uh, we really don't want to go into here. But in general, you want to get an adjustable vent on radiators that uh, are overheating, and that way you can uh, dial it down to the appropriate level for the particular space that uh, you're trying to uh, live in or sleep in, in that particular case. So these are very nice, well-made vents, and um, uh, we use a lot of these with great success. In general, there are other adjustable vents that are on the market. This particular one here is um, USAV, uh, United States Air Valve, which of course <laughs> is from Taiwan. Uh, this is what you would find at, say, the, your Home Depot. And the way they do the venting is there's the hole and you uh, rotate this, you loosen the screw and you rotate this uh, to cover the hole. But even if you cover the hole, and there's the index mark there, which corresponds to very little. This thing is, this thing is inexpensive and um, uh, best avoided, in my opinion. Uh, if you want to have a less than, uh, you, you know, if you don't want to uh, reduce your frustration level, um, these things uh, are not that great. The um, 
Other one that's more common, a little bit more higher quality, is the uh, Hoffman 1A. We've discussed these in earlier videos. Uh, they also cannot be shut off completely, whereas this theoretically can, uh, depending on manufacturing tolerances. Even with this being, quote, shut off, it really still allows uh, the radiator to heat um, in many instances. So we've want to get a look inside here and uh, I've created a cutaway for your viewing pleasure. There again is the uh, construction. Uh, this is the eighth inch uh, threaded joint which you thread into um, the radiator. And this is the cutaway. The tongue would go here and allow the passage of steam into the vent if, and the water to uh, bypass it and not be carried um, up into the hole there. Uh, this is a float chamber. This is the sort of the heart of the, the vent. Uh, it is a chamber made of brass with a bottom of a sort of flexible uh, thin material, uh, different alloy, uh, which allows for sort of like an oil can to, uh, to um, pop in and out as the fluid inside expands and contracts. Uh, so this has a point there which sits in the hole. And as you vary this, you're varying a very fine screw which raises and lowers the... Um, the float and the uh, shutoff point there, metal to metal contact, and one turn raises this a uh, 40th of an inch or 0 0.025 inches. There's the uh, seal at the bottom, which is an O-ring, and then there is a, uh, a crimped uh, ring which holds the O-ring in place. And this can turn like so. Should get a better look at it there. And that's what's inside these vents. Very well constructed. Um, very nice operating principle. And they've been making this vent for a fairly long time. Um, earlier versions would look like this. Uh, you were able to supposedly take this apart and... Um, disassemble this to clean it. Uh, they found that was there's a ring there which always leaks after you take it apart. There's the, uh, the chamber inside. There's the shell. Uh, they no longer do this anymore. Um, here's a cutaway again of that. Same thing. The only thing they're doing now is they're not using that extra o-ring. Um, and they've uh, changed this wheel uh, to one that has numbers on it to, to make it more re readily uh, usable in um, uh, balancing your system. There's the flexible line. Inside of here is an alcohol mixture, which in the presence of steam uh, vaporizes and expands, pushing this down and shoving this pin up into the hole. Here's a shot of the base and further details of its construction. Uh, these threads are gone. Uh, now they just use a solid band and they just solder the, um, the shell in place, like so. Occasionally I run into these uh, that in, in the surplus market and uh, we print a, a 3D um, adapter over the, um, the adjuster wheel with numbers on it so you can get a better idea of the uh, uh, venting and you can then use this to uh, help balance the system. This of course it means should be accessible. Uh, just to thread these on and then put a radiator cover on, it really doesn't help. <laughs> a 
so that is it. The vent right number one, very nice bit of kit and um, recommended where you wish to adjust the amount of venting on a single pipe steam radiator. Again, as always, really appreciate your support. I hope this is helpful to you in uh, guiding you on how to balance your uh, single pipe steam system. And um, happy steaming.